That is pretty messy hit there today. <laughs> oh my goodness me, look at that. Ugh. Nasty. Well, it's certainly a bit messy up here at uh, Princeton today. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I had to get the big high vis out because it is uh, pretty wet and windy. So uh, this is July in England. Nightmare. But um, we are in a better sort of position really then uh, these guys, there's some German people over there. We met them last night and they are actually cycling on a cycling trip. And uh, they're actually in a tent with um, like a family of four. And uh, yeah, it's uh, not the best uh, place to be <laughs> on, on a day like it is today. It's time to get the chocks out, I think. Get moving, on to the next destination. Right, so we're off. It is 10 past 12 just gone. So we're gonna make a exit from the Plume of Feathers. Yeah, they were just putting the sign up on the campsite disposal point, like. Um, so they have got some showers in there as well now. I did. I haven't been in there, so they got some toilets, which is really handy for them guys in the tent. Definitely looking a bit uh, bleak up here today. Sneak over. Oh, this is the, um, remember looking in the base camp? So I think we've just about squeezed past the place where the hairy hand's supposed to be. <laughs> the story about the hand coming out and grabbing you off the road and dragging you into the Dartmoor. So uh, we've, I think we've gone past that point and it uh, doesn't look like we're gonna get dragged off the road by any hairy hands, but um, the mist up here, the vision is uh, not very uh, clear today. It is typical of uh, Dartmoor weather. This is what the Americans come over. Where's the where's the fog, buddy? And uh, this is the iconic Dartmoor fog, without a doubt. Just got to watch out for horses, cows, sheep roaming around in the road. I'm just going to pull off here a second and just let all these cars go. There is zero visibility up here today. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I don't think it's uh, really the weather for a uh, ice cream either, is it? <laughs> Look at the state of that. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mate, he's actually uh, in the VW, like he's pulled up to the window of the ice cream. <laughs> See if he's even getting out of his van. Right, down over Pork Hill. So I think just a little bit of altitude drop and it's starting to become a little bit clearer. Get out of that low fog up there, that low cloud. So there is a campsite down here, isn't it? Yeah, we're, um, we're not far off our campsite now. It's quite busy in there. Oh, yeah, busy. they're busy in there. It's on grass, though, that's the trouble when it's yeah. a sweat. Higher Longford Caravan Park. Can you turn left or right? Here, here we go. Here we go. Langstone Manor, that's where oh. we're going. Excellent. We're having better luck today by the looks of things. Nice big Land Rover and they can go backwards. That's incredible. So, so we're sneaking on down through the lanes. Deep as Devon. Over it being like this, then you go up over and it's even narrower. Yeah, just it clears out a little bit in a minute. I think we're just back onto the um, bit of like moorland. Oh, another little narrow one. Yeah. Over the cattle grid. It's a bit narrower. Yeah, there. just up around that corner a little bit. Yeah. Langston Manor. Plenty of signs anyway. Directing us where to go for sure. Exciting stuff, it's new territory for us. Here comes a car. So sort we've of got a nice little passing place up here though, not a problem. That's perfect. That's perfect, thank you.
go. Langston Manor. Welcome. Excellent. There we go. 200 meters on the right. We've got a lot of caravans out here, right? Stags. Didn't even know they were there, did you? Nice, wasn't they? Yeah. Oh. 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 Is he going to go up? Oh. There he is. All right. Thanks a lot. You'll we'll shoot it in there. We'll, we'll shoot it in there. We'll shoot it in there. There we go. Wire them out. Reception up there, look. So, arrive. Oh, up here, look. Oh, we got little pods in here. Arrivals, yeah, that's that's right. I'm just gonna. Uh, ah, they might not be open till one o'clock. Ah, so um, <coughs> we've Who's arrived. Assistant? We've arrived. Hey, so I'm I'm Joff from this one. Yeah. Uh, my wife's in there. Um, and um, yeah, it's all good. So we're arriving at Langstone Manor. And that, yeah. And uh, we're just having our little guided tour. Yeah. The good lady is going to show us where all the bits and pieces are. So it's all good fun. Right, so we've got the bins there. We've got the bins. Very interesting. If you do want to go... Excellent. Yeah, so we're just having a little uh, rip around the campsite with a good lady, and uh, we are going on pitch 25. So we've got a nice little tiered pitch, look. And, uh, yeah, it's all looking really nice. Um, the weather is not the best conditions in the world, but as we know, it was going to be like it, so we're just going to make the best of it and uh, party on. Okay, here we go then. Let's get on the pitch. There's quite a few um, Dutch here, actually. Oh, right. There's a little Dutch uh, transit there, that. Yeah. And there's a Belgium down here as well. Oh, yeah. A lot of tents. He's parked nicely like that, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, a little uh, Dutch one. We're down here, so I'm, I'm going to back in. Yeah. Oh yeah. 25. Got that tent there for a while, wasn't it? Right, I'll watch your back. Look at that little tent in there. You know when you've come to a good campsite, when they've got gold awards in the window. So we have got all the um, all the maps here. Look. So we've just come into the shop. I'm in the shop, which uh, I previously have been in when I booked into the reception, but it was all a bit fast moving. Uh, we were itching to get on our um, on our pitch, but um, this is the reception, which is absolutely fantastic. They've got maps and information. I was just actually looking at this beautiful um, the map of the Tamar Trails in this kind of area, which were not far from uh, um, the border of like Cornwall so uh, which is all like rideable you got more Wellham Quay down there which is a pop popular place to go they have a coffee machine in here with all the little bits and pieces that you need uh, and they've even got some lovely Ambrosia Roy's pudding over there all the sauces some cider and uh, cold as well when it's steaming hot like it should be in the summer but um, there we go what more do you want and I think just around the corner here is a maybe a oh doing the bread Baking bread, so fresh bread in the morning. Langstone Bakery, la. fantastic. How good's that? And uh, yeah, so uh, everything we need, all compressed in the little shop here at Langstone, and uh, fantastic. Oh, so uh, back outside, it's still um, not letting up with the rain, but I'm just getting a little bit of uh, um, shelter under these trees just outside the reception. But we've just been having a good old uh, narrow the, to the uh, the wardens here at the moment, and they were just saying that they're, um, the owners of this place are very emphasizing on the fact that they're very eco-friendly. Um, they're, they're trying to use um, everything, even down to their uh, cleaning products for the shower blocks it's all got to be um, um, eco-friendly stuff and uh, they sort of like you know really trying to push the level that way which is always a good thing which we love but um, basically um, this place um, we were just saying that 
Uh, it's just such a, a crying shame because we would, I just say, we would be up Pewtor. Pewtor is just behind me on the edge of Dartmoor. And uh, for hiking, stuff like that, um, just a stunning um, location to be in right on the edge of the moors. And uh, look at all this beautiful timber up here. It's just uh, so nice. Anyway, I've been out for far too long. I'm going to make my way back to my motorhome and uh, Carolyn's going to think, where are the hell has he gone? But um, <laughs> yeah, so we've been, uh, but anyway, on the way. Ah, so while the rain is pouring down outside, we're just having an afternoon coffee and uh, tucking in, check this out. We've got some beautiful bruschetta. Look at that. And then we have got some of this nice sun-dried tomato and mozzarella. Oh, do you think the mozzarella is going to fall through my hole? Oh, it's a holder. Look at that. Look at that. Only up to happen to you. A couple of bits of that on there. So we're having a little bit of a uh, snacky afternoon, a little bit of pepper on there. And uh, it is all going down swimmingly well, isn't it? Caroline says it always happens to you, but it always happens to her. She gets the, the <laughs> juice from the mozzarella right in the eye. <laughs> Crikey. Getting that Mediterranean Feel. food feeling this afternoon in this terrible British weather in England. <laughs> Look at it out of there.